Okay, I thought it might be helpful to do a little <coughs> video about preamp inputs. <coughs> so we're just, if you already know, then don't laugh at me. <laughs> but some people I think might get confused on this. Sorry about my shaky camera. But it is what it is. Okay, I think these two preamps I have here, or one of them's a, the top one's actually a preamp, eight channel, eight at preamp. The bottom one here is actually my interface. It's also eight channels. <clears throat> but the cool thing about it is they're different and I thought this would be a good way to show you how inputs on interface preamps can be different. On the Studio One here, made by Presonus, it has a I can focus that better, mic and an instrument. And up here on the focus right, it has a mic line instrument. They both use these combo jacks, which means it'll accept a so here, uh, XLR for a microphone or a quarter inch phone plug, which is a guitar, bass, or it could be a line level. Uh, sometimes line level have a tip, ring, and sleeve, which would be a balance cable. They can go into a line input as well. Okay, so anyhow, the big difference here is really is there's one of them accepts three, that one mic, line, and instrument, and that one there does two, mic and instrument. Okay, it's kind of important to know the difference between instrument and line, I guess is why I'm doing this video more than anything else. Um, an instrument and a microphone is a very low level uh, device, so there's not much signal there and that's why it has to go in, into a preamp and get amplified. A line level is already amplified. So if you have something that's a at line level and you plug it into an instrument input, you're going to distort the shit out of it. Don't do that. <laughs> if you have a line level, make sure it says line. And then most most of them will say line if like if it's a combo, like on this one it'll have some kind of a switch or something like this one does right here. And when you hit the button in, that light will turn red, and that means you're on instrument. Otherwise, you flick it out, and then you're on line, and then you're safe. Uh, otherwise, the other way around, too, is you wouldn't want to plug your guitar into a line input, and be on line, because then you wouldn't really hear it. You might be able to get some signal out of it, but you'd have to really, really crank it up to hear it. So make sure if you're using guitar, instrument, if it's a line level, preamp, something to that effect that's already amplified um, at line level amplification, not like a guitar amp, but uh, you know, line level. And that's, uh, I guess we'll go to like phase two, why I want to do this video. Would be, why would that be beneficial? Well, this video is for our guitar player group, so people that don't know this, if you got a guitar amp, okay, and say, you know, you're micing it and all that good and fun stuff on any of your interface, that's cool. But uh, sometimes it's like, well, maybe you can't play really loud. And this is, of course, all depend on what kind of amp you're using and stuff. Some amps will allow you to, uh, or they'll have an effects loop on them for one. That means it's got a usually it says like a send in and return or a preamp out, power amp in. Same thing, it's a flex loop. Um, another thing you can do recording is you can go plug your guitar into say your input of your amp, and if you got an effects loop on it, then you can go say effects loop send or the preamp out. That means now you're getting your preamp sound of your guitar amp. And you can take a line level, quarter inch guitar cable, if you will. From that, into an input that says, a line. And so that gives you other options. And depending on how this video goes, maybe I'll do another one. I might show you how, with some other devices and stuff, you can uh, record a guitar like one time and have three uh, different tracks going that you can use in different ways and uh, anyhow 
if we decide to do that. Oh, maybe I'll show everybody how to do that one. It's pretty fun. Anyhow, for now, most important, know what instrument and line means and how to, what goes where, so you don't distort the shit out of your preamp. Or you're trying to go, hey, you want to line input with my guitar and I can't hear it. And that sort of thing, so hopefully this makes sense.